I won't back down! Find a way, I'll make one! This is perhaps my fourth, no, third best joke ever. I should write it down somewhere. Follow my lead and we'll get through this!
by the will of the gods. Darkness before dawn. people. Eh, forgive my knavish trick, but there was simply no other way. I'm gonna kill you, Yosaurus. I'll make you regret- You are safe. Explain yourself. You are safe. Don't you guys listen to anything I say? The Rip Mag was a dud. If you could have caught the corrosion, you'd have symptoms already. And do you know why you haven't caught the corrosion? because you can't catch it by walking into a clockwork field. How can you possibly know that? 
maybe because it is so. Sit down, sit down. It's been a long time since I've had visitors. Can I interest you in a cup of mushroom tea? Who... who are you? My name's Rendor. I'm the man who's been living here for the last three years. Three... years? And you are... He's healthy. No trace of the corrosion. Or any of the disease for that matter. How was that even possible? Beats me, people. I'm as surprised as you are. <laughs> there must be a reason. Some kind of immunity? But it doesn't mean anything, Isaurus. Maybe this man has some kind of unique immunity to the corrosion. But that doesn't mean we do. Oh, but I haven't gotten to the best part. He's not the only one. I traveled the world looking for a cure, remember? On my travels, I met several people like him. Oddballs, goobers, living in clockwork fields like this one. And they were all healthy. Provided they can fend off the occasional corroded creature, of course. Oh, Rendor, when I said goobers, I meant no offense. None taken. After all, it wasn't a brilliant idea to settle down here, was it? Ah, buddy, I missed your tea so much. It has that deep, rusty quality I've never found anywhere else. I can't believe my ears. Hey, listen to this. I even found a smuggling ring in Avarice. People were using clockwork fields to conceal their operations. You still don't want mushroom tea? You should drink it while it's hot. But if it's not by contact with the corrosion, how does one catch it then? To that question, Darian, I have no answer. But I have the answer to another question. You, Isaurus. You never told us how you caught it. Yes, that's the one. The truth is, it just happened overnight. I never touched any Arclight technology at the time. Never approached anyone sick. Never went into a clockwork field. Never ate anything suspicious. Didn't travel, didn't do anything wrong. And I was the only person in the whole city who caught the corrosion that year. Eh, talk about having a rotten luck. Are you telling us everything? Anything that's relevant, yes. The rest is all, uh, non-consequential family drama. So, that only means one thing. No one in Harrihan is safe from the corrosion. It could strike anyone, at any given time. I came to the same conclusion. I can't believe what I'm hearing. So what the consort is doing, the refugees, the camps, the lockdowns, it's all for nothing? I'm not sure about that. And that's precisely what I'm saying. After everything I've seen, I'm not sure of anything. I'll be darned. Well, now that I've delivered the good news with proper gusto, I do believe I deserve some nap time. Give you all some time to digest. Tell me when your brains are done cooking in those cranial kettles of yours. Ordo. He... If you're still hungry, I've got some leftover mushroom soup from yesterday. comes the fun part of our little escapade. We need the strongest alloys to craft the sturdiest weapons. Luckily, this clockwork field is full of the baddest, meanest corroded creatures around. We'll have to gather their toughest parts. Corroded atlers, gels, I'll make you a shopping list. So, it's more of a chopping list. Huh, already heard that one. We got you, Mr. Veteran, been there, done that.
I'd start running if I were you.
Darkness before dawn. Darkness before dawn.
Darkness before dawn. Darkness before dawn.
Rendor won't mind if we spend the night here. Make yourselves comfortable while I craft us some new weapons. Spend the night. We can't afford to wait too long before tempering those... materials. Otherwise, they'll lose many of their most valuable properties. So, Selene, would you perchance be interested in learning the arcane art of mishmashing corrupted remains into frightening weapons of destruction? If you don't mind me watching you work. Not at all, my dear. I just ask that you politely applaud when I'm done. Mm, I don't know. You'll have to let me see if the final product is worthy of applause or not. Oh, such harsh words. Okay, then if you don't mind, I'll leave it to you. You're still in recovery, Darian. Don't push yourself. I guess. Good night, guys. Good night, Darian. So, how did you find out so much about the corrosion? Bored, mostly. Back in the days when I was searching for a cure, I eventually grew tired of searching for answers in the traditional places. So I began studying corroded creatures, and my own limbs when I could bear it. After all, truth lies in both blood and flesh. Is that a Carnelian principle? It is. Carnelians believe in the sanctity and divinity of the body. And since the corrosion is a sickness of the flesh, I thought I should start looking for answers there. I made a few minor discoveries, but nothing conclusive as to the true nature of the corrosion. Anyway, you may as well know it now. My being a Carnelian poses no threat to you. Why? Any Carnelian that wasn't slaughtered by the Sanctorium centuries ago has been converted or assimilated. But you already know that. Mm. My aunt... <sighs> ...was the only Carnelian Everything I learned, I learned from her. And everything she learned, she learned from her own grandmother. But she died a while ago, which makes me the last of the faith. My aunt hoped that we would launch a revival, but her plans were cut short when her brother, my father, learned of her ambitions. He feared my aunt had brainwashed his firstborn son to join an obscure cult that would bring shame and disgrace on the prestigious Firebrand family. To secure the family's growing prestige and send a message to me, he had his sister assassinated. That's horrible. Oh, it's pretty standard fare amongst avarice aristocracy. Trust me, you don't want to know the rest of the sort of story. Even if I remain a Carnelian at heart, I have no intention of converting anyone. I'm way past that now. Too many bad memories. And what about you? What about me? How do you handle the pressure? Finding a cure to the corrosion, saving the world, and so forth. Anyone else would feel crushed by such a responsibility. Oh, I can handle the pressure. It's something I anticipated. Something I hoped for. Something I asked for. How so? I'm not satisfied with the state of the world, Isaurus. Living in fear and deception is not how humans are supposed to live. The way we're living right now, shunning each other, living in perpetual dread, it's beneath us. We deserve better, and we owe it to ourselves to be better. Putting an end to the corrosion is a tiny step towards making Harrion better. But if that's my mission, then so be it. A fearless leader in all her glory. But sometimes I'm scared. What could possibly scare you? There are times when I don't even care if I succeed or not. Facing death while making the world a better place is what I'm living for. I'm happy that I can lead a life without fear. Even of the worst. Because sitting back helplessly, watching the world gradually decompose, that would be the worst. Sometimes I wonder if you really are human. Oh, <laughs> make no mistake, buddy. I'm human. Huh. Isaurus, on some other occasion, I'd like you to tell me more about Carnelian beliefs. I... I'd love that.
I am the second bearer. This is the third time we meet. And lest you heed my words, it will be our last. You're just some corroded talking tree. You have allowed the seed of destruction to take root in your body and soul. For this transgression, there will be a terrible price to pay. The seed of destruction? Oberos said that too. Is that the name of the Ascendance Crystal? Listen to me, Third Bearer. There's not much time for you to learn to use it. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. about the fate of the world, I wouldn't have deserted. My sister, my mother, my family, and now Syl. They're all that matters to me. Why doesn't anyone get that? Oberos understands, and he will use it against you, again and again, until you are destroyed. Why? Why me? I'm nobody. You denied the seed of destruction that day. You raised your arm against it. Now, you are responsible for it. It must never fall into the wrong hands, for the consequences would be terrible. I never asked to be responsible for it! You have to, for the sake of the people waiting for you on the other side. care about all this. You're some voice coming out of the crystal, right? An ancient guardian, something like that? Then hear this. I would rather die than use that power and expose anyone to it. Find someone else! I can't protect you from your fate. And will not be able to protect you from the suffering you will inflict upon yourself. But, I can help you. Give your suffering meaning. Don't forget who you are, Darian. Always, remember your true self. We have yet to meet for the first time. You don't look so good, Darian. Are you okay? Yeah, don't worry. So, are we back on track? Yes, I've distributed all the new weapons. And don't be afraid to wear them with pride. So I'll be the only one with a corroded weapon, huh? Can't say I'm 100% thrilled about this vote of confidence. All these weapons are just like me, Darian. Ugly. They make you feel uncomfortable, and yet they will ultimately serve you well. Will it leave him stranded in hostile territory, too? No, that's my own special touch. Aren't you a joker? Yesaurus? Yes? I'm counting on you. I... I... People in this tower! Civilians! Children who need our help! The help of the consort! Each and every one of us have vowed to protect the innocent. Whatever foulness is taking place here, it ends now! <laughs> 